right guys, welcome back to part two. We're on a par five right here. Awesome looking hole, goes straight downhill. It's over 500 yards. And you guys can see, it just looks pretty wide open down there. So we can take a rip at it. It is straight into the wind, so it's gonna be a fun one. Duncan hit another good drive to start off part two here. And uh, what's the play here, bud? I'm just gonna try to get myself set up for a nice wedge in, cause I can't make it there, so. Yeah. Awesome. Jumped on it a little bit, and it's headed up the left side of the fairway. But it should be fine. What's up, boys? Here comes How Pops, coming in hot. <laughs> Good. Good to meet you. So glad you guys What's up, JD? How you doing, man? Good to meet awesome. you. Thank yeah. you guys so much. Absolutely, man. I'm so yeah. excited. Good time, man. <laughs> What's up, dude? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I've been like working with these guys back and forth by email for a while. I know. Yeah, I know. Crazy. How you doing? All right, guys. This is Duncan's dad, JD. Say what's up, JD. Oh, uh, what's up? I mean, I'm 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 a hack. He's the real golfer, but uh, I try to hold my own. He teaches me instead of me teaching him. There you go. We're gonna have some fun out there. We're kind of in a little little valley in here. Coach is gonna go with the three wood. He's playing aggressive, 245. <laughs> All right, so I pulled that drive a little bit to the left. Uh, I'm gonna kind of take a risky shot. Shouldn't be hitting three wood off this lie. I should probably just hit a five iron, but I'm feeling kind of lucky. Again, it's, I got the draw lie, so uh, I'm gonna play it out to the right and hopefully it swoops back. Hit that great. Super high, it's drawn right towards the flag. And it should be on the green. Look like a great shot. Thank you. Nice shot, dude. Woo! All right, Marco just pumped another one down the middle. He's feeling good right now with his driver. The driver's working right now. I got it figured <laughs> out. I got about 200 yards left, a little bit into the wind. I'm gonna hit a four iron and uh, just kind of go right center of the screen. And if it fades back, it should be close. Oh, it's right at it. All right, I think it's on the left part of the green. Probably about 15, 20 feet. Good shot, bud. All right, Duncan laid one up right in the middle of the fairway. It's got 118 to the pin. Looks like that tree right above uh, is on his line, but he's got an awesome swoop. So what are you gonna do here, Duncan? I'm gonna hit an eight iron because it's into the wind. I got an eagle last time. I hold out from this spot a couple <laughs> weeks ago, so. All right. You're gonna swoop it around that tree? Yeah, I'm gonna try to. All right. I caught a little heavy. Should be right in front of the green. All right, Duncan just left a little bit short and he's gonna be going over a bunker right here, as you guys can see. And then there's the there's the green. Mike and I both found the green somehow, some way on this par five. That's it. Oh, look at that shot. Great shot. It's got about five feet left. Awesome shot. Is that a five? Yeah. Great five, buddy. Good up and down, man. That was a tough one. All right, big cat. Missed opportunity there. Three putted, first three putt of the day, but it's all right. Hard's good, studying the ship a little bit. Yeah, it was a 60 footer over a ridge. Yeah. All right, so we're on uh, hole number six, par four, 415 yards. Looks like there's a ravine that runs through the fairway. Um, JD said that uh, 300 yards would leave us right in front. So it looks like we're gonna take driver on this and uh, looks like there's trees all along the right side and left. So gotta hit a good uh, straight drive on this one. Like father, like son, they both hit it right, right next to each other, and uh, great position. I want it on record, no, that this is the first time in how many months that I outgrow you? Now, how, 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 how far is it? I want to know. <laughs> Let's count it out. Six, maybe seven feet. <laughs> I'll take it. Come on, it's the first time. I have 170. I'm gonna hit a five iron, and 
swoop it in there and everything kind of goes left so I hope that I'll start at the red edge, edge of the green and that it goes left hopefully. He's gonna play the swoop. He's got the draw just like Mike. Start towards the right and it's drawn. Just kind of thinned it. Oh yeah. It's rolling up. Alright. Should be just in front. Put a little tour sauce on this one for you guys. <laughs> Pulled it a little bit towards the bunkers over there. He got across, so he's gonna have a fun up and down from over there. Yep. All right, Marco hit another fairway right here. All right, got 162 left, a little bit downwind. I'm gonna hit an eight iron. There's a massive bunker in front of this thing and I don't want to short side myself. So if I go a little bit long, that's totally okay. Uh, I'm gonna go right at it. Hit it right at it, just to the right. And looks like he's got about 15 feet. Great shot. All right, I got 132, playing 135 roughly. Uh, wind's pretty quiet right now, so I'm just gonna take it right at it and play the exact yardage and uh, play a little swoop in there also. Started right at it with a little draw. <laughs> got over, I think it's gonna be on the green, just gonna be missed it a little bit to the left. All right, Duncan was just a tiny bit short. Hit it. All right, he was just a little bit long. He's got about a 25, 30 footer coming down the hill. And we found Mike's ball. We were looking for it for a little bit. And uh, man, you're not getting very many good breaks today. Yeah, that's the second bad break I had today. So um, that's all right. I'm gonna try and get up and down, hit a little flop shot right here and get it close. <laughs> Tough shot. Thing was buried, dude. on this course, but this is one of the holes with water. Straight over water, 230 yards, par three. And as you guys can see, that's the pin right there. Looks like the green's pretty flat. Pin looks in the middle, so, so I guess as long as you clear the water, you're good. But <laughs> it's a pretty intimidating shot, so should be a fun one. Right to left. I think it's right on the front part of the green. Good shot. All right, play that swoop in there, perfect. All right, so you guys can see the green now. <laughs> it's a good size green, but man, it's just uh, not easy to find. Duncan hit a great shot over here. He just swooped it. It kind of bounced off of uh, this slope right here and just rolled right up to the front. He's got about a 35 footer, as you guys can see. And I was just a little bit, a little bit right of where, or left of where he's at. So, decent spot. Coach went in the water, so we're taking a drop over there. Duncan's dad, we didn't get the shot, but he played a little stinger and just bounced right on through this water and somehow got out. Wish we would've got that one on camera. Hmm, oh, great shot. Mike hit it to about three, four feet right there. Great shot. All right, not bad. As you guys can see, that breaks pretty hard right to the left, so that was judged pretty well. All right, so if you guys are not familiar with what Mike is uh, sticking his head into right now, it's basically a massive periscope and it just lets you see what's up in front. You guys probably already know what this is, but I've actually never seen one this big. This thing is uh, it's pretty monstrous, so it's pretty cool. Let's go stick the camera in it and see what happens. I'm not trying to be funny, but are you gonna be able to get a driver over that hill? Actually, you are trying to be funny, <laughs> and I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> So you know what? I mean, it's seriously it, like I'm gonna have to tee it up a little higher than okay. normal, and I'm gonna have to hit up on it a tiny bit. So yeah, thanks for uh, being funny though. I mean, look at this. We literally have like a wall in front of us, 
and it's not that far. I mean, it's like 60 yards in front. If you guys hit a low, a low bullet here, <laughs> could be dangerous. No problem. Too far left, huh? Yeah. <laughs> That's the golf gods paying him back for making fun of my low ball flight right there, Duncan. Oh, he swooped it in perfect. Good swing, buddy. All right, what are you thinking, big cat? All right, I pushed my drive over here pretty badly and massive tree in front of me that you guys can probably see right there. But there is kind of a gap to the left of the tree and I think if I get right through it, I can find the left side of the green. I'm totally taking a risk here. I should be just punching out and trying to get up and down for par, but um, I feel pretty good with my six iron. I'm gonna just take it right through that gap and see if we can get a little lucky. All right, the gap he's talking about right here is right there, guys. He's gonna go through that probably with a little bit of a fade. Oh, he did it. Oh, oh that's so good. What a great shot that was. <laughs> Threaded the needle on that one, barely got through by probably a couple of inches and see where it ended up. I, I definitely didn't recommend that shot, but he pulled it off, so I guess he was right. All right, Duncan, what do you got left here, man? I have 180, I'm gonna hit a five iron and try to miss left of the green because that tree's in my way and I play a little draw, so. Started it right, and it's headed towards the bunkers over there. It's gonna be a little bit short of the bunkers over there on the right. All right, Mike, we thought he hit a pretty straight one off the tee, but uh, obviously it goes, it's a dog leg left, so. He's got some tree trouble. So this is not my favorite shot. I got trees all along the right side. I cannot play my draw, so I have to play a fade. I'm gonna probably aim left of the green and uh, try and play a little bit of a fade and probably just miss a little bit left. You guys can see what's in front of him. I mean, it's tree line and the pin's tucked back right, so. Oh, he hit that so straight. It's headed for the left side of the green. All right, it's just gonna be a little bit long, but that was actually a really good shot. I have my 60. I'm gonna play it kind of high and aim left because I do not want to end up in that bunker. You guys can see with what he's working with here. He's got that bunker and it's pretty big lip and it's pins it back right. So I took it pretty much straight out the pin. This looks really good. Uh, just a tiny bit long. That was a good shot though. All right, guys. So that miracle shot that I hit back there. Here's where it ended up. I mean, just just off the green, and I got about a 30. I'm about a 40 footer kind of going back up the hill so amazing shot Mike missed it over here he missed it in the right spot he kind of gave himself a lot of green to work with Pretty good at these go in oh <laughs> little skivvy coming in a little hot all right it's just on the fringe Work out here today, I know. man. <laughs> Taking a beating, but having fun. All right, guys. Number nine here, 369 yards, par four, hard dog leg right. We're actually going to be going. We're actually going to be going over there to the right through the trees. So another hole that you kind of have to play a, a fade on for the righties. Oh yeah. Well, that might. All right, Duncan out drove me right there. So we're gonna do a little closest two for five push-ups, and uh, we'll see what happens. Oh, great shot, Dad. Oh, Pops is over there. He found the green. He's, he's pretty jacked up about it. Started up the right. I think I just clipped that tree, and I think it's in the bunker. All right, I got 135, a little bit downwind, and I'm just gonna play a nice little smooth pitching wedge. I think Mike was, uh, <laughs> oh. uh, he just pushed it out to the right also. All right, All right guys, got 126 yards, uh, a little bit downwind, just like Mike's was, and I'm gonna hit go with an approach wedge. Try to miss the left side of the screen. Oh, it's on the green, right side, good shot. All right, JD found the green here, hit a good shot just over the pin. He's got about a 25 footer down the hill. 
I kind of pulled mine over there to the right. You guys kind of see where it's at. It's, uh, it's probably about 40 feet, so not the greatest shot, but it's on the green. All right, so they're doing a closest two for five push-ups. Both of them just kind of missed it over here, and uh, they got to go over a bunker. Got to play a little bit of a flop shot, and then, and then right here they have a pretty big ridge that it's going to land and kind of roll out on. So pretty delicate little shot. Okay, played a low one. Ooh, checked up a little bit. And it just kind of rolled out. He's got about a 20 footer. Coach. <laughs> uh. Thank you guys so much for watching part two of the vlogs. Uh, we're having a lot of fun out here and make sure to go subscribe, click the subscribe button and follow these guys on Instagram, they're awesome. And we'll see you at part three and hope you guys enjoy the video.